that's relevant to me is woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. And if you'd like to d dive into a little more scripture, I think what's relevant is Revelation 3, 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. And I'm speaking directly to you. Rabbi Shmuley, the fact that you would try to say, thank I you, am Jewish, you. and this is what I believe, and, and do and say the things that you are doing. People can see and hear evil, and what you are doing right now is an act of evil. The lies that you are telling, not just on me, but also on my family members, are a good example for the world to see what we are referring to when we call something radical Zionism. So, Candace Owens, is, is they're sitting there and they're debating about, you know, whether it's holy, whether it's right for the war that's going on against the Palestinians, how the Israelis are dropping bombs on the Palestinians, whether that is even holy or not. And from my understanding, this Jewish man is off the rip. He, Whenever he debates anyone, he throws a lot of uh, personal attacks, as in which I guess he was throwing a lot of personal attacks about her family or whatever. And she pulls this precept out. So she quoted Revelation 3 and 9, and it says, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet, meaning your feet, and to know that I have loved thee. I have loved you. So what is this really saying? Well, before I go into that, let me get let me go to Revelations 2 and 9 for y'all real quick. Revelations 2 and 9, it says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou, meaning you, are rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Both of these precepts that I just read, that they're both pertaining to the Jews, but what Jews? Okay. Now, she used it towards him in a way that it's personal. So it says, be, Revelation 3 and 9, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. She stopped right there to make the point that he has told lies about her. He's supposed to be, he, he says he is. he's a Jew. And he has told lies about her and her family. She put that precept on him. She whipped out the precept, right? But this is not actually talking about an individual. You got to understand in, from a biblical perspective, this is talking about a nation of people. And it's talking about uh, um, history. So this is real history, what it is saying. Now, I'm going to go through history real fast. I don't. I hope that I don't. my video don't get flagged for being anti-Semitic or whatever the hell they want to do. The point is, is that the people that you know today that are considered in the world to be God's chosen people, these people in 7 AD, their king or Kagan, he decided to follow the belief system of the Israel Israelites. He was in a bind, right? These people were called Khazars, Khazarian people. They were a Turkish Mongoloid people. Now, they had pressure from the Byzantine Empire, which is the Roman Empire, to join them or to join the Muslim Caliphate, to be tributaries to either one, either Christianity or um, Islam. They decided to not have to be up under neither one of them is to follow the belief system of the Israelites, or what they call today Judaism. So for more than a thousand years, these people that hail from Eastern Europe have been claiming to be God's chosen people, Jews. The people who are actually Jews at this point in time don't actually know that they are Jews. You know why? Those people actually call themselves uh, Puerto Rican. They call themselves African-American. You know, they don't have an identity. It's been ripped from them through conquest and colonization and slavery. And so this, what, this precept that she brought out, it makes more sense from the history, the quick history lesson I just gave you. And you can go and verify this, these things. 
the quick, quick history lesson I just gave you, what she's saying, I'm going to read it one more time so that I can help you understand what it is really saying. It is not talking about a Jew, a, a person that claims they're a Jew that lied on somebody. It's not talking about that. I'm going to continue. It says, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. You see, because the world does not know or think that God, well, most people don't think outside of black people think that God actually loves black people because of the things that have happened to them are in their mind, God has allowed to happen to them, particularly slavery. There's even a, uh, a thought process from the times of slavery where Europeans believe that black people were Hamites. They, they said that black people, they suffer from the curse of Canaan, meaning there will be a, a uh, servant of servants. That was never true. Now, let me get to Revelations 2 and 9, okay? It says, I know thy works, thy tribulation, and poverty. You see, God's people in the last days would be in poverty. The real Israelites are, another word for Israelites would be Jews as a whole, okay? It says, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy that of them that say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. This was written 2,000 years ago, but people have so, have lost so much faith in the Bible, they don't believe the Bible is real anymore. That's because most people don't even care about history. Most black people don't know what happened with their people 15, 20 years ago and could care less, let alone 100 years ago here in America. This is real history that it is speaking to because the people that today claim to be God's chosen people historically never were. OK, they never were God's chosen people and the people who were God's chosen people have through the centuries lost their identity and, and were cut off when they went through slavery. Like I got to give it to Candace Owens because, you know, I'm sure they are angry with her right now for even bringing that out, even though she didn't break it down the right way. I'm sure they are upset with Candace Owens right now. And that machine, that media machine. And the things that these people control, because, you know, they control a lot. They can get you shut down in seconds. You've seen what happened with Kanye West. They shut him down so fast and cut cut his bank account and stopped everything and froze everything. They have a lot of power. Well, the people that are supposed to actually be God's people, they don't have a lot of power. They they don't have that type of power. But there is a people that that yell from the rooftops who they are. And they're God's chosen people. But yet the works and the lives and what the Bible say, it just don't match.